は一体何なんだ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video here on the channel. And we have our new update for Venera, so let's hop into it. First of all, let's get the bad news out of the way and my rant out of the way first. So, Gumi was like, hey, we're going to give you guys 2,000 Vizora for our campaign, but then they take away our free multi. So, like, oh my god. It, they cannot do anything right, guys. Like, they simply just try to hide the fact that they're actually trying to give us something extra from what we are used to getting to we're going to take away your free multi summon, which we've never done since the game's release. Like, they've never done this. When a new banner, actually, it's not even a new banner, every single week since the game's launch on Global, they have given us one free multi summon. This is the most ridiculous thing ever I've seen, that they're trying to hide the fact that we're giving you guys 2,000 free viz, but we're taking away your multi-summon. Like, you literally are doing the same exact thing, except we're able to use that viz for other means. Like, I'm sorry, but that's, that's garbage. Like, this, it's really bad that they did that. Like, why couldn't they just have given us the 2,000 viz and not taken away the free multi-summon? Anyway... Let's get into the other stuff. Um, we'll talk about the event stuff first. So in the event tab, you guys have the Burn to Life um, event. Uh, I haven't gone through all the stages yet, but it's exactly the same rewards that we covered in our uh, in our patch video where we looked at the JP version. So you guys go through, complete this, like we've had in our other exchange events. Your event, And they do have droppable shards um, for... Dario. So yes, you do not have to spend your event currency to buy extra shards in a shop. And if you guys, this event is going to be up for a long time. So, uh, you know, just do not even buy his shards in the shop, guys. Just go ahead and get them through drops and mission rewards, things like that. So, uh, but you guys will go through all the episodes. Once you guys get through all the episodes, then you're going to unlock the EX stage. Now you can start the EX stage right away in multiplayer. Um, so you guys go to multiplayer, you guys will see here, you already have uh, the EX stage here uh, for that. Uh, so you guys go into here, you guys look at the rewards here. It's going to be the same drops pretty much, which is going to be the crafting mats for the uh, Assassin Blade. And then you guys are going to have uh, also the event currency. So you guys can purely just farm multiplayer once you guys unlock. Uh, I would obviously do all your mission requirements to get those extra event currencies and Vizor and Spheres and all that different stuff you guys are getting from your uh, mission tab, which we will go over briefly. So yeah, go ahead and then after that I would do multiplayer because generally they have better drops and I'm pretty sure they haven't changed that in this event that they're probably going to have double drops in multiplayer compared to regular. Unless you guys need AP um, and you guys can't really be by it or if you're not doing your, your, you know, your macro setup, <laughs> then, uh, then you guys may have to auto battle. But if you guys want to get the biggest bang for your buck on stamina, stick to multiplayer, but that's what they have for those. Um, if you guys are going to be playing on Venera this week, you guys have your, uh, earn up to 50 shards overall, but you do have to pull her on day one if you guys want to get all 50 shards. So, cause you can only do this once a day. So, ends in six days. So, make sure you guys do that. Uh, you guys have your mock battle. You guys want to test out the new guild battle. There's no stamina. There is no rewards, though. So, it's completely if you guys want to do some tests for that. So, it's not like we had that one arena challenge when Lucia came out where you guys can get, like, uh, different rewards. There's no rewards for that. So, it's just if you guys want to do some testing, you guys can do that. And then we have our GP reward quest. So, that's it for the events for new contents for that. So let's go and go into our mission tabs real fast so we can go over all the different missions. They did add, um, you guys can get extra 50 uh, guild coins a day and an extra um, uh, meat thing for your, uh, like the beef jerky, what is it called? The, yeah, the jerky. <laughs> Which replenishes 2,000 of your bear coins. So you guys can get that daily. So that's pretty cool to get that. Uh, I like getting some of the lower grade things for like the missions, so like I can use like my five thousand that I normally buy if I'm not getting them for free. 
because uh, that gives extra JP, and then you can use like the 2,000 or 3,000 to fill you all the way in. I personally have an 8,000 cap. I haven't really spent a lot of gems into increasing that cap, so that's where my cap is for barracks, personally. Um, then we go into our event tab. This is all the events you guys have. So, you, uh, so there we go. I can go ahead and I'm going to claim them now so I can throw them in my farm. So there you guys go. Get your free Tyrell, just clearing the first stage one time, which I've done. Um, and then you guys will get other rewards, obviously, as you complete them. And you'll have a certain amount of times you have to complete them in order to get all the rewards. But definitely do all these. There's Fragment of Thoughts. There's Job Materials. There's Prisms. There is uh, Shards for Ty for, uh, for uh, Tyrell. Not, why did I say Dario? Tyrell. Um, and at the end, you guys will get uh, a Rainbow Vision Sphere when you complete the last stage, Episode 10, 10 times, along with 2,000 of event currency and more prisms and all that good stuff. Um, then the regular EX quest, you're going to want to complete this as well uh, 10 times. You guys would do all that stuff. You get a total of 200 viz, a bunch of crafting mats, and what is that? 25, no, 3,500 event currency. So pretty good stuff there. Uh, and then here, complete EX five times only, and you'll get 200 viz. Uh, 25, or no, again, 3,500 event currency, and then the crafting mats. So that is all that stuff. So that's pretty much that. And then we do have, which we already talked about. This was already in the patch, but yeah, the limited viz consume uh, thing you have going on for two weeks. So you guys will be able to get some extra shards and stuff like that. Um, you guys should definitely at least get the 500 viz, at least spend 500 viz. You guys will at least get uh be able to get your uh your login bonus or not your login bonus but your uh, 10 pots of each so that is that so just to wrap up we're just going to go into the shop so we go into the shop here and you guys will see here we have your campaign shop and your new unit feature shop so new unit feature shop is pretty standard you guys pretty much the same stuff you guys have the job mats you guys have uh, the Awakening uh, packs for some uh, gill if you guys want to spend those to save you some time on farming. If you guys need the two to four star Awakening materials for either of the characters for Dario or Venera. Uh, and then you can buy three packages of their uh, 20 lot shards for Dario and then 40 lot shards for Venera. If you guys did end up pulling her, I do recommend you guys get those so you can try to get her uh, built up as much as you can. Uh, then we have the guild support shop, which this is kind of a garbage shop this week in my opinion um a thousand viz for 20 pots seems terrible <laughs> um yeah i know you get a daily zooming i guess that's fine um outside of that all these are pretty bad um besides getting like the growth eggs for gill um i recommend skipping everything guys to be honest like faint memory daily pack garbage exp daily pack garbage um, guild statue training pack. Don't buy this. Just use your guild points if you need if you need statues. <laughs> Don't spend 500 viz on statues. Oh my god! Like they are just trying to kill you guys in bad treatment this week. I don't even know what to say to this, but yeah. So don't buy any of this stuff except for like the free daily zooing. It's it's all bad. So that shop is garbage. Straight garbage. Considering what did we get? Five large stamina pots from like the shop last week. It was like. What? All right. Anyway, <laughs> then we also have Eileen and Fina are going to be on Raid Up this week. So there are going to be uh, bonuses in the Chugobo farm as well. So make sure you guys throw those guys in there. Um, and then you guys have Golem you guys can pick up as well if you guys are using that print. I personally am not using him, so I'm going to pass on spending the 1250 for him. But I do like that they are adding uh, a new print. Um for um for your vision card every week to buy shards for so that is pretty cool and then the normal stuff for a, for a the old featured unit right up shop so now let's go to the mod shop to wrap things up gonna be a pretty short video actually trying to keep this short for you guys uh but pretty much same stuff that we went over what to expect you can get one rainbow fragment thought one rainbow vision sphere you can get the tyrell shards and then these are not daily so yeah the prisms and fragment thoughts are just 20 times each um, so that is basically, I think that's going to cost you about 5,000, um, event currency to get, uh, all 20 copies of each. So quite a bit you will need, but considering you don't have really 
like there isn't gear books stuff like that you need to buy um you definitely want to be buying these burst pots and the armor pots every single day you want to commit your uh 1000 for each absolutely want to get that i say those the uh, rainbow mats are you must get those guaranteed and then you guys i would pick up the three resmithing hammers for 1500 um outside of that there isn't really like a necessity to buy anything else um like you could buy your gill snappers every day that gives you some extra gill there uh, that's not a bad thing to get, and then if you guys really need more crafting mats, you guys can get those, but keep in mind, while you guys are farming this event for the next two weeks, more than likely, unless there's a big event that drops next week, uh, you guys are probably going to get tons of these crafting mats from drops, so just keep that in mind, but maybe get the Zubik, there's only 40 of them, uh, those are the harder to get materials, but like the Blissful Hearts and the Void Christ, you guys can get those like from lots of different things all the time. But definitely focus on getting your burst and armor pots and your rainbow mats and your resmithing hammers. Those are like the number one things to get for to start with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There isn't really much more I want to talk about. I know this is an event exchange shop and we should be excited for this update. But like overall, the event just isn't that important to me personally for my account and what they did with the free multi-summon. I can't even do a multi-summon for you guys to finish the stream. And on principle, I'm not going to spend my Vizor to, to do multi-summons. And I don't need to be doing any of the paid gotchas anymore because I have basically what I need for my account for until Kilfi comes out. So that's going to be it for me, guys. That's all I got. So yeah, I'm really disappointed with this update. I'm really, really disappointed the Ever since the collab with Final Fantasy Grand Vexies, I've been really disappointed with War of the Visions, like of how Gumi has been going about the game. So let me know if you guys disagree with me. Feel free to sound off the comment section down below if you guys think of the update, if you guys are happy, displeased, so on and so forth. I want to hear you guys' thoughts, opinions, because I'm just one opinion, but this is how I feel about the game currently. So thank you guys so much for watching, though. Nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a like down below, hit subscribe if you guys are new, and ring that bell for future notifications. So you guys do not miss the next video here on the channel. And thank you guys so much once again for helping us hit 5,000 subscribers. We actually are like at 5,100 already now. So that's pretty awesome. We're, you know, still growing a lot with you guys. Thank you guys so much once again. Have an awesome day. Be safe out there. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Later.